Hey guys, it's Mark Gallagher here. I just thought I'd chat to you very briefly about my cigar box ukulele. But Mark, I hear you ask, I've never seen you play cigar box ukulele, save for that Jerry Lee Lewis cover that I did a while back. But no, I normally see you play your Pono or your piece of crap ukulele. So what's this? And I thought I'd tell you the story about it because I've had this a few years. I don't really use it that much. The year was 2016 and I was uh, looking to go to every ukulele event I could. It was the year I was like going back into the ukulele scene and one event that I noticed was one that was hosted by a guy called Rob Cakebelly Whitaker. Uh, it was in, held in Skipton. Skipton is a lovely town. It's got some nice canals. It's in the countryside. It's got some little pubs and I've played there a few times. I love it. I really want to go back. This, this event was just sort of by the canal and they were just going to meet a couple of mates and we're just going to jam some stuff. So I went. It was about 50 miles away from where I was. About hour, hour and a half to drive. So I make the drive over. There's only about six people there, I think. It was quite cool. It was just, you know, a turn by the canal side playing stuff like your wagon wheels, your bad moon risings, you know, your usual ukulele player's songbook. There was a little competition which he held in, which was like, hey, I want you all to write a song about canals. And the best one wins this ukulele that I built. I was like, okay. And I think I was the only one who wrote a song about the canals and it went something like this. The sun is shining. The hair is blowing in the wind The sun is shining My hair is blowing in the wind Got the narrow water blues for all the places I've been Something like that, I wrote it, I played it for them, and I don't think I've ever played the song since. Because I was the only one who wrote a song, I won the ukulele by default. With cigar box ukuleles, the practice, I guess, comes from sort of like blues music. You know, taking a cigar box, which has quite some hardwood, and sticking a neck on some strings, and the part of the charm is it's DIY, it's gritty, it's often distorted and used in open tunings. And I've played some fantastic cigar box instruments in my time. And this is... Uh, let's talk about the, the cigars themselves are uh, the cigar is Monte Cristo Habana brand of Cuban cigars uh, I don't smoke if you do and you are familiar with cigars then great so they took this box they put some various stickers and shit over it including a uh, howling monkey blackberry beer sticker thing over which is kind of, kind of cute to hold the, these strings in he's used some guitar pins he looks like he's kind of glued them uh, not sure if you can quite see it, but yeah, the strings themselves are sort of just cheap, you know, nylon black things. I've never since restrung this ukulele. Use some block of wood, it's used some, it looks like a plastic saddle, but it's uncompensated, it's just taken a knife and, have, you know, made some grooves for the, the strings to go through. I don't know what materials it's made of, I have no idea. Fret edges weren't, like, really harsh and uh, quite sharp. The headstock, I don't know what it's made of, but it's a very nice pattern, I really like it. Yeah, I think the headstock's really nice. Tuners are fine, the cheap plastic geared button things. I think it's very important to treat this instrument like a solid body because it's got a couple little holes, but in terms of ukulele sound holes, it's not really anything substantive. Oh, it's also got a couple of strap buttons here, and it's got a little pickup. I think it's just a simple under saddle that's connected. It's completely passive, no controls or anything. So it's just a case of like plug in and play. Like part of the charm with cigar box guitars is the DIY element. And that's kind of cute until you lose some elements like intonation. So this is tuned GCEA standard soprano tuning. This is a soprano scale. I've not taken the tape measure to it, but yeah. Intonation isn't great. Like if you do the, the, the 12th fret test, As for, you know, trying to play up the neck. So it's really quiet, it's not got much projection and volume and sustain. Sustain is... It's the, the strings in G part, they also... It sounds quite cheap. So yeah, with the 12 fret test, it nation isn't its strongest point. I, the main reason why I don't really play this is because I found that like, you know, in my traditional style it's pretty difficult to play. But I found that if you just put it in open tunings and you put it through an amp with low distortion and random effects, you can get something kind of cool. It's one of the first things I did in, in this video here. <laughs> I 
And I also revisited that same concept with the Jerry Lee Lewis cover, whole lot going on. I put it in open C, low distortion, and I misplaced my slide, so I used a penny whistle as a slide, and that was okay. Come on, baby. We got chickens in the barn. One of my ukes in my collection, and it don't really get much love. And to be honest, I'm kind of thinking of selling it for like 20, 30 quid or whatever. I'll stick on eBay or something. Yeah, I just thought I'd, you know, tell you guys a story about like the background of the ukulele. And I thought I'd show you some of the stuff it can do. Because while it doesn't fall under, you know, some of the standard metrics of, you know, what makes good ukuleles, it's got something kind of cool to it. And in the right hands, I think this could be... Really something. But yeah, so that's just my little ramblings on. Uh, my name's Mark Gallagher, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. Cheers.